Hi everybody, I am Mermaid Christine. I'm a paparazzi independent consultant. And this is a quick tutorial on two things. One, how to print a shipping label if um, you need to ship something to somebody and they did not pay an invoice. There's actually a way through PayPal that you can print a shipping label without any invoice at all. The second tip that I wanted to show you was how a customer can pay their PayPal invoice without having a PayPal account. Okay, so many people, not so many, maybe five, have come to me and said, I don't have PayPal, do you accept any other way to pay? Um, can I mail you a check? I'm like, no. Um, if you have a debit card or a credit card, you can pay a PayPal invoice without having a PayPal account. Even if your PayPal account is banned or blocked right now or for whatever reason not working, you can use any debit or credit card to pay an invoice. Um, I'm not sure if this works with all um, like gift cards, but you can even buy Visa um, gift cards at grocery stores, Walmart, Target, maybe the gas station, I'm not sure. And you can use that to pay an invoice. I had a customer who didn't have a checking account. She didn't have any credit cards. She went to you know, the Walmart and she bought a Visa gift card and was able to pay her invoice with that. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and I'm gonna show you how to do both of those. How to print a shipping label without needing an invoice paid and how a customer can pay an invoice without having a PayPal account. Okay, so normally when you print a shipping label, I go to tools, I go to invoicing, and then I can down here um, type in either the customer's name that I'm looking for or I can just go down and order from who paid most recently. If you do not have a paid invoice though, you actually don't use this um, website to ship. You're gonna come up here into the search bar and you're gonna type in www.paypal.com forward slash ship now. I have it saved there. So this, way, this website will pull up this link where at this point you can type in your customer's name, their address, the city, state, zip code. You can even put their email. And after you fill that out, it looks just like your invoice. You put in the weight, first class or priority. It calculates the shipping. And then right from your home, you can print their shipping label. All right, so that's the first thing I wanted to show you. PayPal.com forward slash ship now. If you do not have, um, if you don't have a paid invoice to ship. All right, so now I need to open up PayPal again. And this time I'm going to show you how to pay, how a customer would pay an invoice. Okay, so I'm gonna create an invoice now. Normally um, I don't invoice this way anymore. My husband uses an Excel spreadsheet and we put in um, all of the emails in one column and then we put in the quantities and then he like exports it and we do bulk shipping now. But this is the way I used to invoice. I actually use my phone for it. But anyway, you're gonna build to add new customer. First you need an email, so I'm gonna do mer made Christine at gmail.com. I have to make sure there's no typos, otherwise it won't send to me and I won't be able to show you how to do this. Christine, okay. So first name is Christine, last name, mermaid. All right, save. So now I've got this new information for me saved in here. I'm gonna scroll down here and I'm gonna invoice me for one more amazing treasure. Ah, let's say I got excited, I bought 10. And no, I decided to buy 13 so I can get one free. All right, so that's a nice order. 
shipping five dollar flat rate not five hundred five okay and taxes are added in there right 455 local tax yes okay so now I'm gonna send all right so that invoice has been sent now I'm gonna go to my email 12,000 emails I don't delete any emails ever so any moment um, I should get my very first invoice let me hit refresh where's my refresh button come on maybe it went to my junk mail this is why my girls sometimes tell me I didn't get your invoice let's see drafts more less important should be right here of course this is gonna happen when I'm there we go when I'm trying to record for a training. All right, so here, from the Mermaid Grotto, I got an invoice. I'm going to open it up now. Here is your invoice. This is what your customers will see, and you're going to want to take a screenshot of this and show them how it works. So first, they're going to click View and Pay Invoice. Then there's going to be two options when they scroll down here. Oh, wait, first. It's a little different on a computer than on a phone. So I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna pay now, okay? It's gonna give you two options. At the top, it's gonna say, log into your PayPal account. And then on the bottom, right here, see this? Everyone's like, wait, I don't have PayPal, what do I do? You scroll down here. See this or? You're gonna circle that when you screenshot it. And then you're gonna circle a big circle down here or pay with debit or credit card. At this point, they can type in any credit card, debit card, gift card that they have as long as it's one of, I guess, these four. So maybe if they bought an American Express one, or maybe that is American Express. I can't tell, it's too tiny. Um, they type in the number, the expiration date, the you know verification code, their billing address. I guess for a gift card, you don't have one. They can type in their phone number, they'll get a text receipt, and it is, um, they could sign up for a PayPal account down here at the bottom, but it is protected and insured through PayPal. So you are protected as the buyer when they pay through PayPal, and they are protected, no, you're protected as the seller, and they're protected as the buyer. PayPal is like the only method I accept except for cash from my local customers. All right, so um, that is how your customers can pay using a debit, credit, or maybe even a gift card. I had one customer successfully do that. I had one who said it didn't work, so it might depend on the type of card. Um, you also now have the ability to ship even though you don't have a paid invoice. So you can ship gifts to friends and family um, without them having to you know, pay a $3 invoice or whatever. That's what I used to do. I used to have to try to charge someone a dollar or something so that I had an invoice to print. You don't have to do that anymore. Just go to paypal.com forward slash ship now. All right, I hope that these two tips help you. They're really good ones to know. Um, again, just take a screenshot of how an invoice looks, circle that, post it in your shopping group. I do it a few times a year to let everybody know. If you don't have PayPal, you can still shop with me just using a debit or credit card. All right, everybody, have a great one. Talk to you later. Bye.